In this video, we want to take an introductory look at parameters, and we're going to do that in the context of a plate with four holes, one in each corner. We're going to go ahead and create this from scratch so that we can get a really good feel of how parameters work inside of Inventor. So go ahead and start a new part. On the new part dialog, go ahead and make sure that metric is selected and then double click the standard millimeter part. Now, just like any new part, we first need to start with a base sketch. So go ahead and start the sketch tool. We're going to pick the XY plane as our principal plane to create our part. So let's go ahead and in the rectangle tool, be sure to come down and select the two point center rectangle and then click on the origin and then go ahead and just create a rectangle as big as you want. When you click again, go ahead and exit out of the rectangle tool. And then we're going to go ahead and create two quick dimensions, one across the top where we're going to set our length to 150 millimeters. And then we're going to create one on the side where we're going to make our height 100 millimeters. Now, if I look across the bottom of my inventor interface, we have this button we can select that lets us choose how we want to display our dimensions in our sketch. Go ahead and click the expression and that will give us both the name and the current value of each of our parameters. Now I wanna point out that inside of Inventor, all of the parameters or dimensions we create are automatically named. And you can see that by default, Inventor will give them names like D0, D1, D2, and so on and so forth depending on how many dimensions that you've created inside of your model. If you double click it, you can go in front of the number and you can actually key in a name that you wanna give that parameter. So in this case, we want to name that length. Length means a lot more to us than D0 does. And we wanna go ahead and do the same thing on the height and name that height. Now be sure to put that equal sign after the name. That's very important. And notice that when we do that, we now have two parameters that are called length and height that define the overall size of our plate. Now, what we want to do at this point is we want to go ahead and extrude this so that we actually have some plate thickness. And anywhere I can put a dimension value inside of Inventor, we can also give it a name. So in this case, we're going to give it a thickness. We're going to say it's equal to four millimeters. And when I click enter, now you'll notice that we have the first feature of our plate that's built and ready to go. Now, if I right click right here and say show dimensions, you'll see that sure enough, it's named all of our dimensions exactly what we wanted to name them. And so we can see that we have everything set up the way that we want. So let's go ahead and put in a hole. And we're going to start by putting a hole in this upper left corner. Now, a note that I wanted to make is that if any of you have not used Inventor 2019 yet, they have redone the whole interface and they just streamlined it. It's a lot easier, a lot more intuitive to use. All of the same tools you had before are there. If you take just a minute, you'll get familiar with it really quick. Go ahead and click approximately where we want to place our hole. And then we want to give the hole a name of hole diameter or just hole diam. And we wanna say that equals five millimeters. Then we're going to click this left edge and we're going to give it an X offset is what we wanna name that of 10 millimeters. And then this top edge, we also want it to be 10 millimeters from that edge, but that's not super important of a dimension for what we're going to be doing. So we don't need to rename it. Now notice that if we zoom in on the hole, you can see it's cutting the right direction. If for some reason it's not, you can come right here and you can change which direction it's cutting. And the other thing you wanna make sure is that this through all is selected. That will make sure that our hole makes it through the entire plate that we created. Once you've confirmed all of that, go ahead and click okay. And now you can see we have our first feature or our first hole created inside of our plate. Now we wanna pattern that so that we have a hole in each of these four corners here. So let's go ahead and start our rectangular pattern tool, select the whole feature that we want to pattern. And then for direction one, we want to select the bottom edge and that will give us a direction going this way. 
Now our plate is 150 millimeters long and we want spacing 10 millimeters on each side. So we're going to go ahead and space that 130 millimeters and that will put the hole right where we want it. Then we're going to go to direction two and we're going to select the edge that goes down. And remember this is 100 millimeters down. So we want to go ahead and space this out 80 millimeters. And now when I click OK, you'll see that we have the plate that we wanted to create along with four different holes, one in each of the corners.